talking about your experience. Um, anybody want to share with the whole group? I heard things about um, feeling tense in different parts of the body, um, feeling like a shield. Um, we, in Chinese medicine, those are wonderful descriptive words because in the, in the theory, the wind is, is something that actually gets into our body. So we have that same weather in our body. So our bodies have a wind that can't move very well, and that's when we feel the tension. So the first part of our body that experiences the wind, if we have it if in, a, in good enough working order, is actually going to be what we call an exterior level, which is like our shield. So we may feel like a shield also, or we may feel something on our skin before we feel it in our muscles. So um, those are all totally, you know, legitimate things to feel. And also, you know, it was a pretty, you know, pretty big change in weather, like in one day. And so, yeah, a lot of people said they felt, you know, something pretty strong feeling right then. Or just the need to clean up a lot of debris that had fallen on the ground. So, here's a recipe on how you can make the tea yourself. Um, also, I heard some people discussing, you know, what the, what chrysanthemums they should get. Um, and definitely you should get something that's meant to be chrysanthemum um, tea, because there's a lot of different chrysanthemums. Um, and they are sold in herbal stores, in grocery stores, and usually those stores will also sell goji berries in a bag, and chrysanthemums in a bag. And also herbal clinic. And also herbal clinic. So the, a couple blocks from here, the Ocom Herbal Clinic has both of those for sale too. So here's a sample of some some dried chrysanthemum flowers themselves. And then we have those carriers also. We know we can they deteriorate, so we don't oh, no. yeah. So I tend to look for uh, chrysanthemums that have some moisture in them if I can. Um, either way, you're going to put them in hot water and, and make a tea out of them. So look for something that looks good to you. Um, I like to be able to smell the chrysanthemum when I'm buying it, and so I like it when they're a little bit moist still, um, or they have some stickiness to them, because they're sweet. Um, but it just depends on what you like the most, too. And some of them are a little bit more yellow, and some of them are a little bit more white. So there's, that's also what you can know, there's just a couple different varieties out there. And the goji berries also, some of them are more dry, and some of them are less dry. Um, but when you heat them in hot water, they will, they will get very soft. And so I encourage you to try, also when you make the tea, taste them. And so when, you, when you're tasting the tea that's here, for sampling, um, you cannot see the berries and the flowers. But at home, make yourself some tea in a cup and you know, get in contact with the herb. Um, you can even eat the whole chrysanthemum flower, take off some leaves, eat them, eat the whole flower, give it a try. It seemed really weird to me at first, but but it's, it's nice to be able to be like, oh, we actually can eat this. And the same with the goji berries. Um, you can use the goji berries. Um, you can, of course, eat them dry, but this is a much nicer way on your body to eat them, to eat them as a tea or in a soup, um, because your body doesn't have to do work to make them wet again. It's already been done, and you get the properties of the herb in your body. You get that sweetness and that ability to nourish the liver and the kidney and the lungs. So you just need to put you know, a few flowers and a few berries into a cup. You don't have to worry about the number exact. Just put some in, whatever feels like a good amount. You can count them if you want. And um, just break them up. If they're in a clump, put them in a cup. And then pour hot water over them and steep them for about 10 minutes. And then you can drink it. Um, any questions about that? That's my talk today. Thank you. Have a great day.
Yeah, it's already pretty sweet. Um, so if you add sugar, you get a more cooling property. You also get a property that could be something that you know just kind of gums up the dynamic of your body with too much sweet. If one wanted to add sugar, what kind would be best as an additional? Probably rock sugar, <laughs> something very pure. Yeah, um, some people feel that as herbs dry up and they're dry for too long, that their spirit and their essence goes away also. Um, so that's why it's good to, you know, check out something on the shelf or in, in the medicinary. I mean, this, our medicinary has very fresh herbs and more likely to get something that has, like, smells really nice and it has, like, a good feeling in your hand. And so if you're at a store, you know, it's inside a bag and you can't touch it, you, you're also can, you know, just, you know, see if you can smell it through the bag and see, like, what it feels like to hold it in your hand and see if it's something that seems good for you. I want to go to the food package in an Asian supermarket and it's very dry. Mm -hmm. So I put them in a candy jar and they get it on the shelf. Oh yeah. And I just don't know if there's anyone. Try yeah. um try it. They will they will they will be very small even though maybe they they just they will reconstitute pretty well. And you can just, you know, even if you're wary about them, you know, the next time you're making soup, you can put them into soup and just, you know, experience what happens. You'll see how they flow up, yeah. Yes, you can add honey into the tea. And that will have a property of helping the lungs some more. If you feel like you're having a cough or something, the lung feels dry, you could have that. Um, or and there's so every sugar has a different property, and the, the, the honey is one of the one of the sugars that's very helpful. Does the Is that a Chinese Yes, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. The two major herbal production regions for chrysanthemum are Huangshan in Anhui Province and Hangzhou, which is in Zhejiang Province. Um, depending on the more white ones, usually come from Huangshan. And if they're packaged as like a cake like that, it's usually from Hongjo. Oh, like a round cake. Yeah. Um, those are the characteristic signs. And usually it's loose and white if it's from uh, Fangshan. And for medicinal purposes, those are the two main reasons where they grow them for the that kind of purpose. You can also get the Asian you know, the wild chrysanthemum. It looks like tiny little buttons and they're very yellow. But that would be different and not. Yes, that would be very different. And do we sell these in our That might be a little bit more difficult. Um, you might need to ask a Chinese medicine provider to write you a prescription for it. But you are welcome to, you know, ask, you know, what is this chrysanthemum like or something. Okay. And I can see that if I do the herbal herbal. Yeah. So you can't just go in and say, I won't go to this. You have to get a prescription. That's right, yeah. In our medicinary, um, we do have a we do have a couple things that are sold to the public and that are sold like this is something you can walk in and ask for. Like patent dedication. Um, and we have a tea, not a tea, a soup mix that contains goji berries. They have other Chinese herbs, like a chicken soup mix. And so that's something that you can ask for. You can ask for that. Yeah. Yeah. So is it like a shelf that you can go and peruse and look around? No. You have to know. You have to know or just ask for something or um, if you've been given a prescription before, you can refill it, or you can, if you know there's a patent prescription that it's comes in a bottle, a patent, something that comes in a bottle, a medicine bottle, you can go up to our dispensary and say, can I, you have this, can I get some more of this? That would be something good that we could, you know, potentially sell as a tea that people could buy, you know, tea bag. What you can do is buy it from a place like the Dow of Tea here. What about mixing it? We, we went to the lecture last week and it was green tea. What about taking it and mixing it with the green? Would, would that be too complicated for the body? Or no, and that's the thing I'm going to talk about ink flavors. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to contain these two plus the green plus five other things. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, you can mix it.
the green tea um, has different properties, and so um, there's just such so much history about the chrysanthemum itself and the goji berries because it aids the longevity, and then the green tea is a whole other thing, but you can make them. What's the number down to see the tea when it comes from a plant if you get 100% pure? Yeah. Is that advisable in Chinese medicine? Well, it's just not a Chinese herb. Okay. But it's an herb, and so, um, you know, herbalists are, you know, always interested in what herbs do and what plants do. Any other questions? Well, thank you. Have a great day.